Today's game changer in agriculture at Advanced Micropolymers, Dr. Ruben Lenz, Milton, Ontario. This company uses starch, cornstarch, in ways we never have, would have thought about. Instead of using plastic to protect cars when they're new cars when they're being transported, we can spray them with starch and just when it arrives at the dealership, clean it off with hot water. Secondly, another product is liquid mulch. With some of our herbicide bans in urban environments, we can now spray starch to prevent uh, seeds from germinating and keep the weeds down in areas like where we grow trees. And it's a, in the mind of Ruben Lenz, and we're selling ink to uh, Korea as well. I mean, all because of the innovation in small town and, in this case, a small company who's thinking globally. We provide not just a chemical or a resin, a polymer to a customer, but we provide them a solution, the ability to do something with their product, offer something to their customer that they could not do before. And our strength lies in knowing not only our product, but being able to make that into a usable form for our customer that helps them enhance their own products. Keeps them green, because it's all based on, on agricultural products, but at the same time, gets them a step closer to their market solutions. Something they weren't able to do before. So in the example of the inks, it's not just a question of, okay, you can take out this chemical that is a petrochemical and now take a natural chemical and, and replace it. It is that you can now do something with your ink that you were not able to do before. And a nice example of that is just uh, printing here on, on corrugated board. Because of the unique properties of the resins that we make, you notice how crisp and clean this is. So they can now do things that they could not do before with their inks. This is the type of advantage that we're trying to sell to customers. So here's another example, something that was printed with, uh, yeah, with inks made from our resins. And once again, you see the nice crisp clean lines. Right? They would use a water-based flexographic ink. Uh, those inks are maintained by uh, pH, so oftentimes the press man would have to go back and put in ammonia to keep the ink running at a proper uh, viscosity. Having removed the acrylic portion or that portion of the resin in the ink and replaced it with ours, they no longer need to do that. So it doesn't lose or the viscosity doesn't change over time, the pH doesn't change, so it makes it a lot easier for the press man to run it ends up or results in less wastage of ink because at the end, if, if the ink has become too thick, it simply can't be recovered. So it is a lot of savings, not just in terms of money for the end user and for the ink manufacturer, but also in terms of time and manpower. So one of the advantages of using the polysaccharides in our products in inks is because they're based on natural products, um, we've been able to obtain a letter of no objection from Health Canada for them to be used in direct food contact. Which means that uh, printers can now use our resins, inks that are going to contact food. A large area of applications where now our product could be used, for example, you know, egg cartons, uh, pizza cartons, Liquid mulch is designed to be applied as a liquid and then dries as a barrier, forming a barrier on top of the uh, soil that lets water pass through, lets air pass through, lets the plant breathe, but doesn't let weeds germinate when the seeds fall on top or so on. Whatever plant is already in there continues to grow without any uh, difficulties. So just like a mulch, right, it forms that barrier and depending on how much you put on, it does two things. It, it determines how strong the barrier is, but it also determines how long it will last. So the way this degrades isn't through water, it isn't through oxygen or sunshine or anything like that. It is the bacteria in the soil that from the bottom eat it up. So the thicker you make it, the longer it lasts.
There are ones that are specifically made for greenhouses. There's ones for landscaping that are a bit stronger. There's ones for railways that's the strongest grade there is. Uh, the cost of pouring this on time-wise and labor-wise is very, very simple. There's no removal cost. If someone goes around and wants to put on uh, uh, either a cocoa husk or a plastic sheet or something like that, there's a lot more labor involved in doing so. If someone wants to go around every week plucking weeds, there's a lot more la labor involved in doing so as well. So again, on the overall for the plant, per plant unit, the cost is lower. So when they manufacture a new car, let's say uh, a fancy sports car in Europe, Right? and it gets shipped over here, that car needs to be protected. Otherwise, ocean water sprays on it and whatever else can damage the paint. Some of these companies have expressed real interest in the product like what we make for the aftermarket that they could use on a new car so that when it comes to the dealer, all they need to do is wash it off with a special wash solution. Um, it offers the body shop a number of advantages that they didn't have before. For example, they can still position tape, something they couldn't do with other liquid products. Um, they can wash this off simply with, with water and not have any concerns because it is a natural product about uh, using it. It definitely is faster and less labor intensive than masking with paper, for example. So on the final product of the automobile, they again save money. Quick and easy, uh, one light coat covers the, uh, uh, the vehicle, uh, as opposed to putting plastic all over it and covering it up. Uh, and it keeps the plastic out of the landfill and uh, biodegradable, washes off, makes my life easy. In general, the cost of using our polymers, whether it is the liquid mulch, whether it is for the inks, or even for uh, the automotive industry, ends up being lower than what the customer was doing before. And that is not based on a kilo per kilo basis, but based on an end product basis. So if one takes a look at the ink, for example, uh, the ink manufacturing step is simplified. You don't have as many ingredients as you used to have. You don't have as many steps in making the ink. And the ink lasts longer. It doesn't go uh, hard as quickly. So the, everything taken into consideration, the ink is now less expensive than it was before. We have an enormous demand in, in Asia, in the Pacific Rim, Australia area, uh, China, uh, a large demand. We see a fair demand in the Middle East. Uh, the biggest demand so far would have to be Europe, and then followed the United States and, and finally Canada.